from Sixers guard Mac McClung's perfect scores to some people still not feeling too pleased about the state of the dunk contest. Fans and analysts are saying all sorts of things about the competition. Stephen A. Smith in particular had a lot to say. The dunk contest is an event that used to be a highlight of the NBA All-Star Weekend. I mean, some of the biggest names in basketball history used to compete to show off their skills and wow the crowds with jaw-dropping aerial feats. But in recent years, the contest has lost some of its luster, with fewer household names and fewer truly impressive dunks. The 2023 NBA All-Star Weekend has concluded, but discussions about the events in Salt Lake City continue due to a lack of star power and underwhelming performances in recent years. It's been an easy target for slander. Many people, Stephen A in particular believed that LeBron James, one of the greatest players of all time and a master of the dunk, is partially to blame, despite being able to throw it down with the best of them. Let's abandon the steal by LeBron James in the open court. And as you mentioned this, year 20 being able to do this. James has never actually competed in the dunk contest during his nearly 20-year NBA career. Some fans and analysts believe that his reluctance to participate has set a precedent for other star players to follow, and that's led to a decline in the quality of the event overall. Of course, it's not just about James. There are likely a variety of factors that have contributed to the decline of the dunk contest in recent years, but it's hard to deny that his absence has been felt. After all, the event could benefit from the star power and excitement that a player like LeBron would bring. You shouldn't <laughs> just smart get out, of the, get out of the way as LeBron got on that trampoline and said take this. LeBron 19 in the game. Nonetheless, even if the dunk contest doesn't feature household names, it can still be a thrilling display of athleticism and creativity, as this year's contest proved. But Stephen A still isn't happy. And on ESPN's first take, he said that there's only one blemish in Braun's career. The outspoken ESPN analyst has stirred up some controversy once again. Besides saying that King James ruined the contest, Smith also said that James has an obligation to participate in the the contest and show off his legendary dunking skills. Davis the rebound. Grimaces as he came in after jumping up. LeBron is in and goes. Oh my God. Drop that anvil. LeBron. But as I told you earlier, instead, he declined and set a bad example for other players to follow. As a result, other players such as Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, and Dwayne Wade have declined to participate throughout the years. And sadly, that's increasingly become the case. I mean, just look at Memphis Grizzlies guard Ja Morant, who's known for his high-flying dunks during NBA games. But even he was willing to disappoint fans by not competing in the contest this year. Smith gave the examples of Hall of Famers like Michael Jordan, Dominic Wilkins, Kobe Bryant, Vince Carter, and Tracy McGrady, all of whom competed in at least one slam dunk contest during their careers, and they gave fans some amazing moments to remember. So it's understandable why Stephen A lashed out at King James. Now, it's worth noting that not everyone agrees with Smith's take. In fact, some might call it a bit extreme, but there's no denying that the slam dunk contest isn't quite what it used to be, and it's possible that James could have helped to rejuvenate it if he had chosen to participate. At the end of the day, whether you agree with Stephen A or not, there's no denying that the NBA All-Star Weekend could use some fresh energy and excitement. Maybe it's time for a total overhaul, or maybe fans just need a few more players willing to take on the challenge of the slam dunk contest. Either way, it's clear that the debate is far from over. On the one hand, you can see where he's coming from. There is no doubt that if LeBron James expressed interest in competing in the slam dunk contest, others would follow suit. After all, he's an idol to many of the associates association's young players and an ambassador for the game. Blaming James entirely is probably overkill, but there's no denying the slam dunk contest has deteriorated. But despite all that, I can't forget about Max Heroics. In fact, maybe McClung's just what fans need since he seemed to have revived the competition. McClung won the dunk trophy after putting on an incredible show that nearly resulted in three perfect scores. You heard that right. Only one of the four dunks he made in the competition, all of which he completed, 
on the first try did not receive a perfect score. His two dunks in the championship round against Trey Murphy III, a double pump, and a 540-degree slam both received 50s from the judges. The NBA Twitter sphere erupted as McClung displayed his hops and creativity, with numerous players hyping up Mac like crazy. McClung's performance in the slam tournament generated 520 million video views in the first 12 hours, according to NBA Communications. It's said to be the most viewed ever for an all-star Saturday night, indicating that interest in the competition has returned. Even better, that figure is increasing. From Stephen Curry to Magic Johnson, everyone claimed that McClung saved the dunk contest. Luckily for fans, just when it looked like the NBA dunk contest was going to be another letdown, Mac McClung saved the day. He deserves all of the praise he's receiving. After all, who wouldn't love him after he promised to return next year? Without a doubt, Mac McClung revitalized the slam dunk contest with a jaw-dropping performance that wowed every basketball fan on the planet. At least according to most people, ESPN analyst Stephen A. Smith had mixed feelings about what he saw. He's not on the same page as most people when it comes to Mac McClung's slam dunk contest performance. While everyone else is raving about the Georgetown star's incredible showing, Smith just doesn't feel the same way and offered up some serious criticism. Sure, McClung had the crowd going wild with three straight perfect scores and a well-deserved victory, but Smith isn't so easily impressed. As an ESPN analyst and one of the most opinionated voices in sports, so he's not afraid to speak his mind and offer up a different perspective, even if it goes against the grain. So while others are singing McClung's praises and declaring him the savior of the dunk contest, Smith's raising an eyebrow and asking some tough questions. Is this really what the slam dunk contest has come to? Are fans so starved for excitement that we're willing to hype up any young player who can throw down a few flashy dunks? Love him or hate him, you've got to respect Stephen A for never shying away from a controversial opinion. Whether he's right or wrong, he's always ready to speak his mind and spark some debate among fans and analysts alike. And that was also the case on First Take, when he was asked if he believed McClung saved the dunk contest. As you might have guessed, he obviously doesn't want to subscribe to that narrative for now. Smith began by saying that he thinks McClung was great and he deserves all the credit in the world, but he pointed out that Mac's not going to divert everyone's attention away from the big problem. Despite praising Georgetown's Mac McClung for his impressive showing, Smith argued that the event was missing something crucial, superstar players. For Smith, the NBA All-Star Weekend is all about the biggest names in basketball, coming together to showcase their skills and entertain fans. At the end of the day, his point is clear. The slam dunk contest needs more star power, and he's not afraid to call out even the biggest names in the game if he thinks they're not doing enough to help the sport. Well, folks, that was all about how Stephen A. Smith thinks LeBron James ruined the NBA dunk contest. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.